Hello there. Welcome to Santelmo's Windows System Administration Series. This is the first video on our Windows Systems Administration Series. So this video will show how to install VirtualBox on Windows 10 systems. VirtualBox is a necessary tool for IT professionals and students studying to become an IT professionals like you. So we are going to start with the definition of VirtualBox. So VirtualBox virtualization software is a free software that allows users to run multiple guest operating systems from a single computer. For instance, you have one computer with enough storage space and lots of memory. So using VirtualBox software, you can install additional operating systems like Windows Server, Windows 10, Windows 7, and other Windows operating systems if you want. You can also install Linux or the Mac OS inside that computer. You can run multiple labs from your computer running different systems. This is powerful. This is how we're going to start our Windows Systems Administration Series. All right, so this is how VirtualBox look like after you installed it on your computer. So in here, I have here several machines or virtual machines powered by different versions of Windows. Each of these guest operating systems runs independently as if it's the only guest machine running on the system. So if you want to learn how to install virtual box, so what are we waiting for? Let's get it on. So we have several steps to install VirtualBox on our machine. So we are going to start with downloading VirtualBox from the internet. So you could get the latest version of VirtualBox from virtualbox.org and download the Windows binaries there. All right. So um, this is the website. So virtualbox.org. So let's get in there. Okay, so on Google, you could simply type in VirtualBox there. All right. So that VirtualBox. Go ahead and download it. So um, you'll have here VirtualBox.org. Let's click this to download the latest version of VirtualBox available. So you click on Downloads. And we have to match our installer with the host operating systems. So my host operating systems here is Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and click Windows host here. All right. So let's click this. And then we save this into a file. All right. So you can also download, or we also need to download the extension. All right. So, or the virtual box extension pack. Okay, so let's download it also. So, all supported platforms, save it into a file. Okay, and let's wait for this files to finish downloading. Okay, so that would take some time to finish the download. All right, so we are downloading here two files. One is the installer, and the other one is this uh, extension pack for the virtual box. All right, so a few seconds left and done. All right, so the next step is to install the virtual box. Okay, so we go to our installer that we have just downloaded. All right, so it's here. So click this, install VirtualBox now. Let's see here. So Windows installer there, and then you've got the VirtualBox installation process. All right, so click next here. All right, so click next. Just have to accept the default location. So custom setup, click next. Proceed with the installation now. Yes, install now. Okay, 
so of course you'll have this do you want this app to make changes to your device yes all right so we are now in the installation process this wouldn't take long So during the, in the installation wizard, you'll get network interfaces warning. Okay, so we just have to click to click yes to proceed. All right, so we're done, I guess, with the installation. So click finish. All right. So where is it? Now that we're done with the installation. Okay, so let's check if this supports 32 bits and 64 bits of course so like new here so we have here already the support that we need if in case you don't have the 64 bit versions of the windows so you have to do some troubleshooting here now that we don't we don't have the problem so let's cancel this for now okay because we need to install okay the we're done with the installation we already have opened the virtual box and we need to install the extension pack all right so let's go ahead on the browser and let's try to install the virtual box extension here okay so um, you'll be prompted with this so um, click install so, and of course you've got the virtual box license agreement there okay so you just have to agree if you have time to read it you read it and then click yes okay so you've got extension pack virtual box extension was already installed so it was installed successfully and then click OK there all right okay so we're done with the installation of the extension pack now what is that for so to install the extension pack okay so we just need to download it from the source and that extension pack extends the functionality of the virtual box based packages so it provides the following enhancement to virtual box so you'll have here the virtual usb 2.0 device you've got the virtual box virtual usb 3.0 support the remote desktop protocol or the VRDP support, the host webcam pass-through, and the Intel PXE bootroom. Okay, so you also have the experimental support for PCI pass-through on Linux hosts. Okay, and then you also have the disk image encryption with the AES. Now if you are going to encounter a problem with the 32-bit operating systems and 64-bit let me open my virtual box here okay so this is what I'm saying so after the installation process you have to click on new and test whether you have all the versions 32-bit and 64-bits there supported now if you have not seen is 64 bit here that means you have to troubleshoot the installation process all right and to do that we have to ensure three things here okay so if virtual box is only showing a 32 bit version in the version list you have to make sure that of course your os is a 64 bit so mine here is a 64 bit i'll show you that later on next is you also have to ensure that the virtualization technology and vtd are both enabled into the bios or from the bios all right and third the hyper v platform is disabled on your windows feature list okay so let's start with the first one so check your os you can see that via your system properties okay so and in here you've got here the system type is a 64-bit operating system right so check yours okay so the second one is you have to check the virtualization status 
without going on your BIOS settings. You could check that via your Windows. So you just have to go to the Task Manager and see this one, Virtualization is enabled. All right, so if it is not enabled, you need to enable Virtualization or Hypervisor in the BIOS or the UEFI. And to do that, I have here provided some examples on how to enable this virtualization on a different brands all right so i am currently using here an asus okay so you just have to navigate onto your efi bias utility and look for the intel virtualization technology there so it should be set to enabled all right so if you are using an acer you've got there the inter virtual technology so you have to check and set it also to enable all right now for those who are using lenovo so you've got the intel virtual technology by default these are set to disabled all right so we have to enable that and on hp okay so you also have that virtualization technology again click that and then set it to enable so if you can find it so what you can do is to check your motherboard documentation all right okay so the third one is you have to disable the hyper v role on your windows operating systems okay so to do that you have to right click on the windows button and select apps and features or you could go directly to control panel and then select programs and features on the right under related settings and then select turn windows features on or off all right and you have to deselect hyper v and click ok if you are using or installing a virtual box we need to have this disabled all right you have to uncheck this hyper v okay because by default the windows operating system has their own version of the virtual virtualization or vm or virtual machines right so since we are installing a third party which is a virtual box then we have to disable this hyper v features here all right so if you can now see that your virtual box now supports the 32-bit and 64-bit by clicking on the new here okay so you'll see that on the version you have now the 32-bit and 64-bit right so if you if you still can see it so you need to further your troubleshooting all right so thank you for watching have a great day